<laughs> All right, everybody, welcome to Wednesday Night Fights. It's another Wednesday. My name is AJ Potato Papa, and I'm joined here by Kelly Milkies. Introducing. Hello, Kelly. Oh, there, look, watch. It's going to break the chat. Do that again. Watch this. This is going to break the chat. All you're going to see is. Oh, there you go. There it goes. There, oh, there it goes. goes. The chat oh. is going off. <laughs> oh, we have a bet actually. We were like betting how many of them yes. we have. Yes, we have side bets. How many dance games are going to show? What's up, guys? Welcome to NSA Night Fight. Yes. Kind Kelly, of, kind of I'm, I'm kind of surprised that you're not some corner of the world traveling again. You know, I really wanted to go to WCG. But I told my boss, I was like, you know what? I need to go to NSA. Yeah, um, you're like, fuck WNSA. that. I was we're like, you know what? WCG, just let like, it go. Okay, That's you're fine, like, whatever. boss. WCG is important all about. Wednesday night fights is more important. Exactly. Exactly, and that's why you're here today. That's why I'm here. And you know what? Today is a special day because you're doing 2v2s. Yes. It's, so a, it's a little different from our normal format. We're not going to do a, a, to a regular tournament. It's going to be a team tournament. So we have a lot of people. Uh, actually, we're, I think we're going to show we are going to show AE and Marvel this week. So it's not just going to be one game. You know what's um, funny? What's that? Guess who's teaming out tonight? Who? Flo? And? You? No! Kelly is in Dude, a team. You know what? Mine wants me to team with him because he's kind of saying like I'm part of team mine. I was like, you're done. No, I'm not going to even play on stream. He's okay. like, oh, don't worry about it. You know, we're going to win it. I was like, no. Why would I want to play? <laughs> so what happened was that he caught Flo. And I was like, yo, Flo, let's go team up. I think you should play. Oh, how about because we team up? It's exactly like StarCraft, Kelly. It's, oh, it's, it's exactly like exactly, StarCraft? Exactly, yeah. Well, I don't know if you know this, but the fighting After game After playing community. like thousands of games on Marvel over the last few weeks, ever since the new one came out. You know what? I I actually completely disagree with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the same thing. You have a build order, which is like, okay, what what three characters you want to pick, right? You know what's my favorite character? What's that? Storm. Okay. All right. Been playing a lot on Storm. All right. Trying my best, you know. Probably so beat you easy. <laughs> I think you could probably beat me in Marvel, actually, because <laughs> I hate, I'm terrible at that game. But I don't know. Me and me and Lewis actually are teaming up for uh, the two v two. Oh really? Yes, we're gonna take it. So when uh, when the when we have to go up and play, the stream is gonna have to shut down, unfortunately, because nobody's gonna be here to run no. it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, okay. So you've been you've been traveling all over the world, all these uh, e sports events. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm going to try oh, to avoid that up, word. What's up with that word, man? I, I hate saw, that. You know, I saw the discussion they had on, um, was it last night on Live on 3? Yes, there's a lot. People have been discussing every Live on 3, Cross Counter. No, no, the one with Tom Cannon on it. Oh, I don't. <laughs> it was, was last that the VVV night. podcast? I didn't get a chance to catch okay, it. Okay, you know what? When I listened to it, I was just like, is he being serious right there? <laughs> I, I don't want to fire missiles, but I think it's safe for me to say since nobody else wants to say. Oh, shots fired. Here we go. Let's like, go. All right, you have the is floor. He, is he kidding? Is he joking? I mean, everything he's saying. I Okay, you know what? Never mind. I think it's inappropriate for me to comment. I'm not going to take an official stance on where we should be Do going, but I am going to take a stance on the word esports because I hate that word. Why? Because it's not a sport. I, How I prefer is it not a sport? It's not a sport. Okay, we're just pushing buttons. I'm watching the screen. Okay, I prefer the term competitive gaming or even professional gaming. Okay, we call players pro gamers. We no, and they, they call themselves cyber athletes. That was a year is, since like, what, five years which ago? Which is Come the on. most ridiculous thing ever. You go to, you go to a bar, you go to a bar, it's like, hey, okay, I'm going to do hey. Okay, let me tell you why Yo, it's considered a sport. I'm a cyber athlete. What's up? Just say, <laughs> you know what, every time someone that knows nothing about gaming asks me what I do, I always say I work in the video games industry. And immediately they will say, cool, what do you do? And you say, I'm a cyber athlete. No. And not just, before, you're done. Before I say it, I get paid to play games. And that's just still to deal with <laughs> any guy in a bar. There you go. <laughs> you gotta. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not going to use that line again. But, but it, yeah. works. it works. Okay, eSports, why? Because all these people that are playing these games, like StarCraft, Dota, League of Legends, fighting games, they practice eight hours a day. Same as any professional athlete. They practice eight hours a day. So people Why that is it not a do sport? underwater Why basket Why do you not weaving? want it to be a sport? It's not a sport. Okay, this I classify it's sport electronic sports. Basketball. All right, baseball. So hockey. you're saying ESWC should change their names because it's called yes. electronic sports. Com sport. Competitive gaming, whatever FI stands for. I don't even. I don't even want to argue with you on this. <laughs> but whatever it is, all of us love playing games, and that's the most important thing. Okay. Well, with that said, whatever your side on the debate is, all right, uh, so we'll table that for now. 
but we have a tournament here. We have a competitive gaming tournament here yeah, today. Yeah, there you go. We have a lot of <laughs> cyber athletes here. We have two cyber athletes that are going to go up and face each other right now. So, so how does this 2v2 work? Okay, so it is SBO style. So uh, you have the first player of Team A is going to play the second player of Team B. And then this is a so cross can, can, What, is it they can knock out the people and one person can win two games? Yeah, and then and they will win. Okay. But if uh, if it goes So in, it's like a team league, the same. It's not very... It's, it's it's a team format that's uh, akin to the SBL style. It's uh, not Pokemon style, which we all we call the other yeah. format. Pokemon which is style. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be uh, Marvel versus Capcom 3 tonight and AE. So we have a lot of people teaming up together, including... Actually, that's an amazing amount of people here tonight. This is the most people I've ever seen at WNM. I could even say this is Oh, you weren't here during percent. opening night where there was a line. There was like a club beginning. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> It was like a club. <laughs> it was like you a guys club have to bounce beginning. people out. Yeah, we have to be like, oh, sorry, you're not on the list. You're, you're not, not pro enough. You're not on the list. <laughs> like you're, not, you're not a cyber athlete. You're not athlete. a cyber <laughs> athlete, so you can't get in. <laughs> okay. Okay, where's James? All right, we're going to we're gonna tag in James. Also, I want to bring in um, a guest commentator tonight. We're going to Skype him in, actually. Uh, we're going to get him uh, on the phone tonight. Who you is probably it? know Jared from uh, oh. Twitch TV, your, your competitors. No. <laughs> Come on, we all help eSports. E so okay, you know. okay. So I hate that term. I am James. forever banning the word eSports from Nobody. our vernacular and language. I don't, I don't even understand what that said me. It's like you are, you are saying that you are banning every single game that has been, you no, know, no, the in word. tournament. Just, just the word. Just the word. Just what do you call word. it then? What would I you said call competitive it? gaming. Yeah, but that's not, you can't call it that. It's too long. You can't hashtag that on Twitter. <laughs> it takes up too much of the space. Then you can't write anything else. You need something shorter. Esports, yo. Okay, I'm going to yell at James. I'm going to go do my e-diet and e-train so I can play my e-game and then write some emails. All right. Folks, uh, stick around. We still have the tournament underway. I think uh, uh, Vi and Watts are setting up the brackets. Again, it's going to be a 2v2 format, SBL style. I'm really excited, by the way, because it's the first <laughs> it's the first 2v2 that now, I'm going Kelly, to Kelly, okay, there's been a lot of talk lately about how there's the, the culture shock between two of the scenes. You were at NASL. Uh, this oh, let me tell you this. Every single fighting game player that went there was so jelly. All they could say was, I cannot believe that you guys have this and we have this. Well, okay. I was like, you can't say it's that. It's true. But David made a good point. It is boring. I read boring. his article. I read his article. It's like, it, we called it, it's like watching a tennis match. All right. You're supposed to sit there, be silent. Yeah, and no, then you yell. No, you yell. We were trying to make the hype. All right. We were doing Wait, no, side no. bets. You're at the wrong, you're at the wrong tournament. You should have been at MLG. MLG... You, you sound like, you know, when you leave MLG, it sounds like you've been inside a club for eight hours, but uh, you're actually okay. been at a StarCraft 2 event. You know, I don't care what you say. Dude, Street Fighter, I love Street Fighter so much. I really do. But then again, if you don't want to call it eSports, you want to call it competitive gaming, you know, whatever. Everyone still loves each okay. other, right? All right. You're trying to create hate. This is I'm what not you're trying, trying to, to create. You're trying to be like, you know I what? I told you, you I haven't made a, I haven't said my stance on what the, okay, should we join MLG, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't care. I just hate the word esports. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right, Kelly. I'm done. Oh, we're going to do some call ins. Do you want to talk to Kelly? Ask her a question? Oh, oh, watch this. Do that again. It's going to break the chat. This is done. Here you go. Watch, watch the chat. Watch the chat. There's nothing but. It's gonna be no, I can't see it. Do it again. Oh, come no. Come oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> we got Dan's game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, wait, wait. How, how can you have that face, by the way? Whose face is that? Is it really his face? That is really flow. It really looks alike. <laughs> it really looks alike, dude. Oh my god. That's the best thing about a fighting in community right there. It's like his superpower, you, <laughs> you know? You know what? I wanna invite him to like a StarCraft 2 event just so we can have that. Exactly. It's like it's it's his flow's superpower, you know, like what Peter Parker woke up, he you know he had strength, but then like flow one day he's like, I have the power to break chats. Oh, we have a caller? Oh, oh caller, yeah. what's up? Yep. Yo, what's your name? What, where are you from? Uh, my name is Jonah. I'm from Broner Park, California. Right on. Do you have a question for Kelly? I got a question for both of you. Okay. Uh, this is Jonah from Broner Park, California. Okay. And uh, 
Who is your favorite pony from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic? Oh, shit. I don't know. Okay, who who are the ponies? Do you know, Kelly? Yeah, I Ooh, like the... You don't um, know? I don't know. But... Oh, shit. That sucks. Sparkle it's Rainbow. Fluttershy, like... Rainbow Dash. I like Rainbow. Starlight Sparkle. Sparkle. I don't know. Um, Spike, Celestia. Celestia. Pinkie I like Pie. Celestia. You just like the name. You don't even <laughs> watch the thing. I don't know. I told you. I think... I told you the stream that there's gonna be a Marco collab. Rainbow. Did I tell Y'all you? Are crazy. Ca caller, did I tell you about the collab that's coming up? It's My Little Pony X Care Bears. Oh my! Yeah. That sounds sick. My oh Little my Pony God. X Care Bears, developed by Harada and Ono. Coming oh wow! That's that's awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. So be on a show. Yeah. yeah. Come to be my brony. <laughs> That's good. Yo, oh, Kelly, you have an shout out question. to all my bronies out there. Yeah. Shout out to my friends from Blue Garter Forums. And shout out to my best friend, Van Dole. You're fucking awesome. Oh, I and know that guy. He's pretty good cool. Good luck to everyone in the tournament. And Martin and Flo, don't lose because I have money he's... placed on you. He has money placed on you. So... He has money placed yeah. on you guys, you and, you and Ari. This guy. This guy put like 2,000 bucks on you guys. Yeah, yeah. All right, thanks, caller. Hello. See you. We have another caller on the on the line. What's up, caller? What's going on? What's going on? Yo. 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 You're live, bro. What is up? What's going on, AJ and Kelly? What's cracking? Yo, I think this is the same guy from last week. Oh, what was his name? Uh. Stop, wait, one, two, five, six. Yeah, Ramon D from Baltimore, guy, Maryland. Dude. Yeah, this guy. All right. Yo, did your yeah. did your bro get a sheet right. and pillow this time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got he got he got his sheet and two pillows. Shout out to my man Kevin Wong Dude, all day, that guy, every day. He didn't have a sheet and pillow. I felt so bad for him, man. Yeah, man, that's how he rolled, man. Uh, he had to get the sheets and pillows. All right, so what's on I your got, mind, bro? What's your question? I got a question. Okay. Do do um, y'all play Bobby Erection? Bob erection? Is that what I heard? What? What erection? Bobby, Bobby, adventure. Bobby's adventure. Is that what you said? I don't, I, I'm he, I just hear erections, and I got. Uh, I immediately. Barbie like, adventures. Okay, Barbie oh adventures. I'm sorry. I haven't. Yes. Played, I have not played Barbie adventures. No, I, I have not. Is it a Man, good game? That so, is my. That's my shit. Should I pick it up, dude? Hell yeah! Should I buy it for you from your that's, secret Santa? Okay. That, okay. That, yeah. that shit I'll send you is, the stream code. That, uh, the Steam code. That's sorry, shit Steam is code. better than their Marvel and Street Fighter. Oh, word. word Dude, Bobby why doesn't an MLG, is why does an MLG you dig? Why does an MLG pick, pick it up? Yeah. It should be an eSport. I, I mean, competitive game. It, it, it should. Personally, if it was. I'll be in it all day. Yeah, you Every probably day. can. All right, Kelly's going to hop the off. Corner. Oh, no, we're going to break the chat. We're going to oh, break we the just chat. Broke, broke the chat, yes. Flyboy, you broke the chat once again. Yo, That's Flyboy. That's what I do, baby. I really appreciate you calling in every week, man. You're like a you're like oh a regular now. We should have you as a, a re – oh, shit, there goes the chat. Oh, my God. <laughs> Flo, you break the chat all the I'm time. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> all right, Flyboy, do you have a question for Flo who just hopped on? Oh, Flyboy. Oh, I think we hung up on him. We're taking calls? Yeah, we're taking another call. Hmm. Oh, my God. Hello? 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 Como estas? Hello? Hi, I'm DJ. How are you? DJ? Uh, bueno. Just DJ? That's Jabaley, man. How are you, my oh, highness? Oh, we got Jabaley oh on God. the line. What's up? All the What's way up, Flo? What's up, Jabaley? So for all, much, much, for all much, the guys. initiate people on the stream, Jabali is the guy who runs CEO over in Florida. You can follow. So just checking yes. Wednesday night fights like usual, my Wednesday night ritual. Yeah, yeah. So what, what's good? Not much, man. Actually, just finishing up Walking Dead. But I just actually tuned in, and Lewis called me on Skype. So nice. what are you guys talking about? Uh, whatever you. you want, man. Yeah, we're talking about you. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited about that Street Fighter series with Alex Valle. <laughs> Hey, this is. Oh, yeah. wait, maybe I shouldn't say my opinions on this. Yeah, uh, this I'll, is all you guys. I'll table it, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, it does look good, I guess. You know, Jabali, how about the Revelations? Yeah. Yo, yeah. yo, so Revelations <laughs> three is on the same date as 
uh, CEO like CEO 45? 2000, 2012, man. You know what, man? You could put MLG on the same day to CEO and it still wouldn't <laughs> stop me. That's your belly. Damn. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Oh, man. I, I love CEO, but I say, Revelations uh, was F great, too, you know? I love all of FGC love for life, guys. FGC yeah. for life. FGC for life. Fuck the word esports. No, you know, no, not screw esports, man. Give MLG credit for how much they've grown StarCraft. I'm going to be honest there. No, no, but no. I said the word. Just as well. I said we the word. We can do just as well on our own, and we are going to do just as good, if not better. I agree with you, Jabali, but I said fuck the word. The word esports. Oh, yeah. Esports <laughs> is dumb as shit. <laughs> Why do words matter so much? Why is there so much emphasis on words? Why do words matter? Yeah. Words start wars. They do, but I don't think esports has ever started a war. Yeah, I think well, it maybe has. a week ago. It has it, man. They do their thing. Let's just keep doing ours, and everything's going to be better. All right. Can't we all just be one big happy family? Can't we just we can. be a family of cyber athletes? Yeah. Like. You know what, Flo? Just yeah. like Disney at CEO last year, man. We can all just go as one big family. Yeah, exactly. Just have so. Everyone get along. All right, guys. Well, good luck with Wednesday night fights. I'm gonna get back to Walking Dead. I'm on the last All episode, right. so. Hey, they find the girl in the barn. Oh, I'm sorry. Son I'm of a bitch. Sorry. You son of a up. bitch. I'm sorry. That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hi, Marty. <laughs> See you, your highness. Me and they Mark, find yeah. the girl in the barn. She's Martin. been in there the whole time. Screw <laughs> esports. Bye. <All right. laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, no. I'll, I'll save All right. Let's take another call. <laughs> Do we have another caller? Alright, caller, what's up? You're live on Wednesday Night Fights. Hey, what's up, Flo? What's up? Caller still? Caller. Hey, caller, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Igor from Santa Rosa. From where? Santa Rosa, California. Oh, that's so close, man. Why aren't you here? Yeah, why don't you come? I don't know, man. All right, so but what's like, your question? I want to ask if Flo, you know, if he, like, ate a salad today. What is that? If you ate a salad today. If I ate a salad today? Um, no. I actually haven't eaten today. Oh, I'm why not? hungry a little bit, actually. You know, yeah. actually, the few times I've uh, eaten dinner with you, you're the most pickiest motherfucker in the I, world. I actually am the pickiest person ever. Like, I actually don't eat a lot, and I'm the pickiest. Yeah, like it's I'm surprising, like, right? You you take two like okay, I think we went to a Chinese place. Yeah, you took, for that like, New Year's. Two things, and like, nah. I'm like, yeah. hey, do you want to try the pork? Nah. 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 Do you want to try? Nah. Nope. Nah. Nope. nah. Nope. I'm like, I'm the pickiest eater in the world. It's true. I, I know everyone's surprised. Everyone's making their fat jokes, but I'm pretty picky actually. I actually don't eat a lot. Ah, You'd okay. be surprised. Okay. So I hope that answers your question, caller. I Thanks hope so for calling. too. Random. Yeah. Again? Yeah, we have another caller. I think. Maybe? Hello? Yo, caller, what's up? Hey, uh, this is John from Indiana. What's Hi. good, John? Midwest. I used to be from there. What's that? I used to be from the Midwest, too. Yeah, from Chicago. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> um, shout out to my boy, Flyboy. I love that guy. We Yo, call Flyboy? Him, like, every week. Yeah. Fly that guy's hilarious. He's a guy um, that calls in every week. The question I wanted to ask was, uh, do you guys think that there are any fighting games that, like, they don't get the attention they deserve and, like, you wish that people were playing them? KOF 13. You know, like... Well, it's, it's, I think it's on a state line. It is, but it'll never get to, like, where it should be because it's too hard. You I think, think it's so? really good, though. Oh, yeah. yeah I, no, saw, I, I, totally I saw agree. you getting like, mad. I feel like... At the trial. A lot of people are kind of bandwagoning on like the more popular games, even though they're not as good. Um, I think Skullgirls should get more attention, to be honest. Again, though, like it's it's too hard, you know. Like I think I think there's a lot of really good games, but they aren't gonna get the attention because they're too hard. People are too used to taking the easy route out with like Street Fighter Four and Marvel and stuff, you know. And yeah. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not yet, not yet. I'm sorry. I'm getting, dis I'm getting distracted. It and yeah, that's my opinion on that. While AJ looks around and does AJ type things. I do play All games, right, awesome. Flo. You do? Yes. 
Since when? I do Starcraft? play games. Starcraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't play I'm these games. Dota 2, I'm in on that. You're an esports player. You are oh, not a fighting game community I'm player. exposed. Yeah, hold I'm on. I'm exposed. I'm a cyber athlete. Yeah, you're a cyber Fuck. athlete. Fuck. How, how do I get rid of being a cyber athlete? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Is the collar still here? Uh, oh, the collar's no. gone? Okay, okay, hold on. We're going to get... We're gonna get uh, Street Fighter up on the stream, but I'm gonna bring in our guest commentator. He's guest gonna commentator. Yeah, he's gonna join in. And Am I leaving? Huh? I'm gonna try to ring him on the phone. Hold on. Oh. So you can stall for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna stall and talk about Andy OCR versus. I know this guy. He's a Ryu player, with the backwards hat on and a shirt that says Active. So we'll call him Active Man. I cannot believe you ruined it, man. I just saw the girl in the barn. I am so freaking pissed. I told you, bro. Where did he come the, from? The girl's in the barn the whole time, right? Where did you Bailey come from? That was so <laughs> scary. Dude, I'm everywhere, Flo. You can't get rid of me. Are you in my mind right now? I'm so confused. Yo, Jared. Whoa. So anyways, back to Bison versus Active Man. Active Man takes the first round. Oh, no, he doesn't. He's done. Active Man loses the first round. And Andy OCR Man... Takes the first round. I'm not really uh, the color commentary guy, so I will just talk about people getting hit in the face. Like, uh, what helped if he got hit in the face? Like that, you know? So he got hit in the face. And uh, so, Flo, what's up? Thank what you, you for saving me. <laughs> where is your, uh, where do you draw, where are you on the side of the esports debate? I am right in the middle. The middle. Because I think. There's enough space for everyone, and I think that neither side is 100% right and neither side is 100% wrong, and the only way this is going to like go somewhere is if there's compromises on both sides, and yeah. Okay. Like, I, I, I like agree, the Flo. debate, I though. Agree. Like, I want Whoa, this debate. Yo, I don't understand. Line? How does Jabali keep coming out of nowhere? You he's can't get my mind. Me, man. Dude, dude, he's I'm like, gonna haunt you I'm for the so rest confused. Of your life. He's like, Obi Wan, dude. Like, when you're trying to do the, 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 the Death Star run, you just in your head. He's like, hey, Yo, man. You want to know a secret? What's that? I've never seen Star Wars. What? What? What the? I'm You've sorry. never seen Star hey, Wars? I'm sorry. I'm don't hit me. Are you American? I guess not. I'm Jewish. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm sorry. You lose automatically what? in life if you have not ever. Wait, have you not not a single one? I've seen bits and pieces. Have you seen? I've seen Ewoks. I've okay. seen some Ewoks. That's, that's those are the little rat dudes, right? No, those are the little bear. Guys. Yeah, they're the little that's rat the, dudes. They speak. They speak Tagalog, actually. Really? Yeah. Do they really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think they're trolling me. No, 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 no. Me and my dad were watching. They're Filipino Ewoks? No, dude. Okay, me and my dad were watching uh, Star Wars, right? Return uh -huh. of the Jedi. And we saw, okay, the, they went to the Ewoks, and they were talking in their language. I'm like, holy shit, they're speaking Tagalog. One of, them, one of the Ewoks says that C-3PO looks beautiful and shiny in Tagalog. What? Yeah. Yeah. I'm mad you knew They're that. Filipino! Wow. My mind is blown because Ewoks are Filipino. Care. So much about Star Wars, like wow, a mind fuck. Wait, what's happening? Hey, what's happening? Titanic song in the good? movie Titanic. Have you seen that one? What did you say, Jabali? You've seen the movie Titanic, right? <sighs> yeah. How are you picking these movies that I've never seen that I'm supposed to see? But I haven't. Are you serious? <laughs> I never saw Titanic. You know? Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll just bring them all out right now. There's a few movies that I haven't seen that I probably should have. So Shadow's Star Wars, the first one. Uh, uh, Titanic. You had not. So, this what? one I think you're really gonna be mad at me because this one I actually have a desire to watch, but I just haven't. Okay. And but, 300. Uh, no, really? Uh, I, I, I thought guess. that would be worse. Okay. I guess. But it, it is a it's a movie you should watch. Yeah. Some, uh, like I, I want to see it. I just haven't gotten around to it. Okay. You know? But Star Wars is unforgivable. Star Wars I don't really have a huge desire to see though. Ooh, oh I'll give God. you a bad one. I'll okay. give you a really bad one. I think this one's gonna make you even madder than Star Wars. I don't know, man. No, it will. Okay. Lord of the Aladdin. Rings. No, it's... Okay, Lord really? of the Rings. Really? So, okay. I only saw the first one. Lord of the Rings is... Oh, I guess. Okay. It's I thought that was a big one. But Star Wars, bro! So, so you're one of those Star Wars buffs, huh? You're one I'm of not those. a buff, but I... Do you, I like, mean, go home and play with your lightsaber and go... I have the lightsaber app, 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 man. Zoom. Zoom. I have the lightsaber app. Do you want app. the lightsaber fight? No, that sounds so homo. Never mind, never mind, never mind. No homo. Anyways... 
Anyways, no lightsaber fights tonight. No lightsaber <laughs> fight. <laughs> All homo, nice. All right, so we're, I think we're still taking calls. Oh my god, are we? Oh, okay, we're, okay. we're going to get the, uh, the the professionals on. The too. professionals, time. The professionals. The, the, the people that I feel, like in the esports debate, the winners are Ultra David and James Chen. This is true. They will definitely be the winners. They will be the winners. Whatever, wherever we go, Ultra David and James Chen are the winners. Yep. <laughs> it's true. David, you are a winner today. Except in our little debate before. Because I was definitely the winner there. Hold that. Hold that. Spoke <laughs> you don't have to say that conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm serious. <laughs> you don't have to conversate. Hey, yes. I'm trying to make conversation. Why are you guys ignoring me? What the fuck, man? You're an asshole. Look at it. Just laughing at me. What's up, guys? I'm Thomas. And I'm Daryl. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> man, you went too ghetto in this. Hey, guys. My name is Thomas. I'm AZ. And I'm Daryl. And we're fighting you at UCI. This year, we're happy to collaborate with Level Up Series to present you guys SoCal Regionals 2011. How, how we basically started was, you know, a bunch of UCI students going to the UCI arcade, which is known as the Zato. You know, and then we had a common interest in fighting games, so, you know, we would meet with each other every week just to play with each other. And then one of us just said, hey, why don't we just create a Facebook page, and then so we can easily communicate with each other. Actually, I was kind of there when they were creating the group. Uh, like, we were all together in a, me, you know, me, uh, Daryl, uh, Andrew, like we're all in a chat in Facebook, and uh, they wanted to have sessions over at UCI, and you know they they would just go to uh, like empty trailers and empty classrooms just to you know hijack them, you know bring some setups and just play. It was first Daryl and Thomas that put it together, and then I just tagged along for the ride. Back when we were playing at the uh, the com com what was it? The portables. We were playing at the portables places. And then now it grew and then it, it finally turned into a club and everything. Well, yeah, it was just word of mouth. I was just playing at arcades and playing at sessions and then UCI just grew by itself. Um, I actually found out about the fighting gamers at UCI through uh, Shuriken, the forums. I was looking for people to play in Irvine, and there was a thread saying that there's a group of people at UCI um, who gathered. So they pointed me towards a Facebook group, and from there, they sent me invites to come out and play with them. I started going to uh, UCI Fight Nights actually by mistake. It was about a year ago when I was taking a course here, and I happened to see a little flyer. And I remember Daryl um, was there, and I think there was one other guy, I think it was AZ actually, when he first started out. And there was just three of us in a room. And it was pretty funny because we played, I think we had two setups, and there's only three guys. And ever since then, it's just grown to like 30 people in a room. Uh, I still think that we have like the toughest brackets whenever we do tournaments and stuff like that. It's just a fun place to be. Hey guys, this is Rich Nguyen. I'm a student here at UCI, and we had a club here, Fighting Gamers at UCI. And I got into it like this one day, there's an arcade here, and then one day I was just playing Third Strike, and then I met like Thomas, he's the president here. And then after these few years, it just evolved to this. When I started to get more serious about looking for competition in my area, I browsed SRK South Pacific forums and I found this thread on UCI Fight Nights. And lo and behold, there was a Facebook group attached to it. So I tried to join the Facebook group and they 
welcomed me with open arms and they told me where to go and how to get there. And I've just been coming ever since. I personally like to come to, to UCR for the cap sessions and the ram bats just because everyone is so friendly. That's a really big thing for me. I don't like, I, I'm borderline an outsider. I, I roll around in the Wednesday Night Fights area and the Redondo Beach area and it's hard for me to go out. UCI is a great place to be. Like everyone here is casual, friendly, you know, open for like uh, a lot of casual games and everyone teaches and learn off each other. What I like about coming here instead of other places or only just like going to other people's houses is just like, like so many people just come here at the same time. Like it's like a, it gives like a really good sense of community I think. And I think like this is this is just a really good representation of like the fighting gamers in SoCal and that's just what I like about it. If chairs were banned in America, Andrew would be the king of Marvel. <laughs> What's up? I'm Andrew, and uh, I'm here at the University of California in Irvine, and I'm standing here in front of the Zoom Center, which is where SoCal Regionals 2011 is going to be taking place at. So uh, let's walk in and uh, have a look. So um, I think you know the location is great, um, and of course collaborating with the fighting gamers at UCI, they um, you know they've are growing community that want to throw something really big too. Because I mean, as far as the love of the game, you know, and, and supporting their local scene, you know, I see I see a lot of uh, potential in having them you know, team up for this big major. And I'm like, all right, I talked to my crew, and you know. Why not throw one big fest and um, see how the Fighting Gamers UCI take it and um, where they'll go after this too is you know what I'm looking forward to. Uh, SCR and UCI, um, I think I think it's actually a really big step forward for UCI. Like I, I feel like um, it's getting a lot. UCI Fighting Gamers UCI is getting a lot more recognition for this right now, and hopefully it'll just um, push UCI Fighting Gamers UCI to keep moving forward and bigger. SCR here at UCI is going to be a great thing, and it's going to be a very organized event. And if anybody has been to any major tournaments, organized events are like key to making those things work. So high hopes for SCR here. Search for fight for relief, and then I like there was like you could just flick it to 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 open the knife, and I tried that, and it just like flew half across. It. It would have been much more interesting. Oh, yeah. I'm the reason everybody got up this evening. I'm a doctor, really breathing. They all know what to do. Alright, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that brief video of us. If you're in the Irvine area, come check us out. You can find us more information on SRK and Facebook. And we look forward to uh, seeing you guys at SCR 2011. Oh, What's up, man? Hey, my bad, bad, dude. Uh, We're in the middle of the yeah. filming. Oh, dude. Yeah, man. I'm sorry, okay. man. I'm coming out of here on fucking <laughs> this topic because I'm getting wrecked in Marvel. But Damn. No, this is what I need to level up, though, man. And, oh, you know, sure. I, I come out to a lot of competitive events and, I mean, you got some of the best over here, man. So thanks for having me, man. Awesome. Much appreciated, dude. Thanks, man. And sorry for messing up your skate, guys. It's all good. So, it's all good. All right. all right, guys. Peace. Yeah, right, man.
Oh, hey, so the University of California, Irvine, going to be hosting SoCal Regionals next next weekend. Meanwhile, we still have Wednesday night fights. Uh, arcade edition, it's a little bit of a funky night tonight. Not exactly normal. Uh, my name is Ultra David. And I am Flo, or Floyd Massage. Let me help you out there. We're good? Yeah. Boom. I'm not professional like you, you know? There you go. I'm not used to this stuff. All right. Anyway. Yeah, so as I said, it's going to be a little bit of, a, of an unusual night. Normally, we just have singles here, and it's just a singles tournament, but tonight... Uh, is actually going to be a team tournament, 2v2 for both Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition and also for Ultimate Marvel 3. I'm very excited for that. I love team tournaments. I know you do. Yeah, you do. Really and you're going to be playing in a team. I am. With uh, my partner, Marn. Actually. That's right. Marn Marn. That's Marn Marn. That's right. All right, cool. So it's going to be EG and Marn. Ready? How's that going? Uh, that, that team uh, it's right. juxtaposition. Yeah. It's all right. You know. our, our team name is Team Mari. <laughs> Yeah, because like Marn and Ari, it's like mixed on Marn. Uh, yeah, a little uh, bit. Check yeah, a little I mean, bit. you got to explain it. Yo, so. The other names he came up with were no good. <laughs> they were no good. Trust me. Yeah. This is the best choice. Yeah. I kind of want a name based on fat jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so I can sad. come up with some, but I'm. I'm that's, 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 that's not nice, David. I know. I want a team with you, actually, so we can make Jesus. Oh, that would be so sick. Make a Jewish team. Dude, I Team Hebrew Hammer. Yeah, Hebrew Hammer. That's very good. So as you can see, we're going to start off with Arcade Edition. Now, the cool thing about this is that this is the last Arcade Edition we're going to have at Wednesday Night Fights. Yes. By the time the next one happens, the very next Wednesday, it's going to be AE 2012. Say goodbye to the Twins. That's what I call tonight. That's right. That's basically what's going to be happening. And are you going to end up doing what you said earlier? Uh, so I think we might actually do that just because this is the farewell for the Twins anyways. Yeah. So we will probably have the cheapest team in the game and play Yun Yang. Okay, sick. But in the meantime, we're going to start off with In Fraud We Trust. And their like opponents that will be Top Ramen. I like that name. In yeah, that, that's a good name. Pretty good. Are there frauds on the team, though? Like, is Mike Ross on their team? I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And I have to go. Oh, on deck. Ooh, what? what? Random. So Marn and Ari, I mean, so Marn, yeah, Marn and Ari have to play against Shady K and, and I, don't uh, know. I think Clockwork or Combo Clock is on his Marvel team. I'm yeah, that's sure. what I mean. Oh, was this in AE? No, c yeah, because he's on the stream, right? Well, Marvel's also being run on uh, off stream right now. Yeah. I so think both games are being run simultaneously. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was AE. But okay, we'll, well, whatever. Yep. So we're starting off with a Cody versus Abel matchup. Cody, one of the characters who's going to get buffed pretty significantly in the next version. I think this is pretty tough for Cody, actually. Because uh, Abel can get in pretty straight. Once he gets in, Cody is kind of screwed. Yeah, once Cody gets knocked down, he's, yeah. he's going to have a rough time of it. Oh, man, had a chance for big stuff, but nothing. Now it's tough. Yeah, now we'll get to see what his mix-ups are, whether he gets anything serious. And uh, answer, not really. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's not a guaranteed punish, but See, just I going for it. I don't know why he's doing that, why he's just rolling after a command throw. Like, you should do dash roll for the ambiguous toss up. Well, it's not looking like it matters all that much yeah. right now. Cody looking for some kind of a frame trap setup. He finally does get it. And he's got Abel in the corner. He's got to keep him there. Oh. And he backs off. Oh, backs like off that. that. Yeah, I don't that like that at all. He, he, had he, to take that. he had to take advantage of that kind of thing. He didn't do it. And he's chipped that damage away. It. Yeah. Talking with his teammate about what to do, what to do. Yeah, once Top Ramen got in at the start, that was pretty much it. Although it's not like his meaty pressure was that serious. It's yeah. Just it's, it, he's still just getting hit by command throws all day. He's not even really having, having to work for it. Right. That was cool. Oh, yes, big Ooh. chance. Nice. That That's sick. so much damage and stun. That was nice too. He's seen his counter hit setups and yeah. he's got that stuff. And he's going to hang up. Oh, man, he does throw a rock. Risky. I like that button in this match, actually. I like stand, stand for it. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. I like Cody's foot tees in general. Yeah, for sure. It's just, it's just a matter of him not having the foot speed to really make them work out all, yeah. all the time. Because in, in that foot tee range, Abel gets a lot more off of it than Cody does. Got a chance for uh, for in probably trust, and I'm not sure what the players' names are, so I'm just gonna go with whatever the team name is. Yeah. So this is frauds versus ramen. What up? Frauds versus ramen. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm gonna call this. Does he go for? Oh man, no crazy big cross-up setups in the corner. Yeah, I don't like that. 
spun him out on their back to mid screen. But he did that in, in the last uh, yeah, no. round too. Random mid though. So he's definitely given Top Ramen some chances. Oh man! And for like the tenth time he does neutral jump, this time it uh, it pays off. That could have really hurt, but he didn't take advantage of it. That could have been the game. What can Abel punish that with? I'm sure Abel can punish with something. Bingo? It looks like yeah. maybe like stay medium kick? Well, I don't know. Maybe. Or, or step kick, rather. Yeah. yeah. Probably stand short or something else, I don't know. Wow, he's really worried about yeah, Command Throw the yeah. whole time. He was just jumping all day. Oh, so, so now it's Cody. like, it's the other guy, because it's Wasita style, right? Oh, that's so it's right. one versus one, two versus two. Right. And then one versus two. The winner if, of... If, yeah, if that's needed. Right, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, if you're not familiar with how Street Fighter team tournaments work. There's basically two different setups, two different formats. Yeah, there's either Pokemon style or Wasita style. Do you know why it's called Wasita style? I think, I'm just guessing. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. I have no idea, actually. I, I want to say that there was like a arcade named Wasita or an area named Wasita. Oh, actually that does kind of sound familiar. In Japan, yeah. for ST tournaments. That does and sound familiar. And I think that that's how they got the Wasita style, because that's, that's what they use, so. All right. Adopted that name. Okay. okay. I'll buy it. Why not? Yep. Well, right now we're running, again, Wasita style, and they're going to be playing with Vega. Oh, no. He moved. One of them is Akuma. Ooh, Azangi. Your favorite character. My favorite. My ex-favorite character in ex this game. Character. Yeah. Who is my your favorite ever? Are you playing an ST? You play no, I don't. Dude, I dropped him so long ago. You still play him. He Honda all day. And now Dictator oh, all day. Oh, really? Yeah. So yeah, like cheap stuff? I'm switching. Like cheap stuff. Okay. So in fraud, it's going to go with Zangief and Top Ramen with Akuma. Uh, which one won before? Uh, this is going to be impossible all night. I better get a notepad. Wait. Cody I, won, right? Dude. Cody won. Cody so won. Frauds won. Frauds beat Ramen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. look at the win. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's so good. Frog beat Ramen. All right, so this is a, this is a sucky match for Zangief. It's just... He doesn't have great options to get in. Akuma has such strong um, footsies and keep away. And even his offense, as you can see, he can actually play media games on Zangief. Not many characters can do that. But just a few hits from Eve. Like, look at how much damage this It's true. Huge. But I mean, he just shouldn't get that opportunity. Exactly. That's that's what it's really about. It's, uh, it's on the Akuma player to, to set that kind of thing up. Yeah. And I hope that the in fraud we trust guy is not going to keep going with Larry because it's not that great. <laughs> Really I not. wish the Akuma was swept there instead of TP though, because you want those wake up options. Man, uh, the Geek player is just not sure what to do about that, yeah. that pressure. So uh, one of Geek's options actually is instant air ultra too, because with the timing that the dive kick will, or even uh, the grab will will beat um, Zangief's lariat, you can do ultra too. You right, can do right, wake up right. ultra, uh, wake up air ultra right. too. Because so. you have to do the high dive kick. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Yeah. So that is an option. Oh, man. But does he know that? That's the question. Yeah, I don't know. He's had Top Ramen in the corner the whole time. But just, you know what? Hasn't really been able to do much with it. It's got to be a big punish. Well, okay. So luckily there for Frog Man. Frog Man. Zangi. Frog Man versus Ramen Man. Well, yeah. I mean, Top Ramen can't be too worried about it. There's There's been no sign so far that, that he should be. Ooh. Unless he wants to go in and just do stuff. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I don't know about that. Didn't need pressure going. But see, he's walked into the corner. This is where you want to be as Geek. You want to walk into the corner. Yeah, definitely as, as Geek, you want Akuma to be in the corner. Because he doesn't have the uh, Robocop to escape. He's kind of just keeping Oh, this needs to be big. No. Yeah, so in front we trust, just not comfortable in his footsies. You can see Top Ramen yeah. is just hanging out at his, at his sweep range. Nothing else. Ooh. Uh, used all his meter. Oh, that was stand short EX hand punish. Yeah. Three. Oh my god. Proud we trust not getting too impatient, which is a you know a big potential problem in this in this match for Zengi. He can actually just yeah, I like him hanging out. I like that. Gotta watch out for the setup for uh, EX Demon flip, but EX Demon. Oh, right there. Dude, oh, that was so dumb. Oh. That was bad. That was bad. He's done. I like He's done. yeah. Probably trust just gonna jump back. Timer scam. Unless he gets a random timer scam, yeah. Yep. Using an ultra like that to run out the clock called timer scam. I really feel like that was Top Ramen's match. It definitely was. He definitely gave that one away. Now use your meter correctly, not just waste it. 
Yeah, if, if you if you cause the Zangief to do jump like that, oh, actually, no, I think about it, maybe not, because there's there's uh, Ultra Two now for Zangief right. to beat the EX Demon. He has setup. to be looking for it though. Yeah, and I don't think I don't think he's he's ready for that. No. So again, in probably trust, just land patiently. It worked out for him last time. And Top Ramen gave him the opportunities that he needed. Ooh. Ooh, really? I don't know about either of those. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> But okay. That was sick. It worked out. Yeah. But he could beat him into a demon right now. That's the thing. Yeah, toward jump right now from Zangief. Yeah. Risky. He's not exactly at the range yet. Like, no. that's about the range right there. Where he can do, like, the stand roundhouse to demon. Right. And probably trust the on match point. Dude, crouchy medium touch. If, if you're going to try to do something about it, do uh, the jump headbutt or crouchy medium punch. I that's, like headbutt. I really like headbutt. But stop varying and please learn. Oh my or god. Or ultra two? Honestly, if I was the Kuma right now, I would just ultra two. Yeah, oh, I would keep doing that. Dude. I would just keep doing it because he obviously doesn't know how to deal with it. Right. Oh, whoa, dude. Whoa, whoa. Oh, he's, he's just going. oh he's he just wanted going. it too. You know he oh, wants right it. Yeah, everybody knew. <laughs> everybody knew. Everything. Oh wait, time. time. No, 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 it's gonna. He's, I think he's dead. Oh, it's close. I think, it's no, close. I think he's dead. Oh! oh, that was so close. Ten seconds. It, ten it, seconds? I think it's nine. Or is that, but in wow. any case, in any case, he's dealing damage while he spins. Wow. So it's not like one big chunk. I thought that would be enough, but no. Wow. Wow. You want? It's up to you. Do you want to come? And here's James Chen. Later, dude. Wow, that just barely worked out right there. That up, is James? the true unfortunatism of Ultras taking a little too long. I think there should be an option that when you land an ultra that goes into animation, you should be able to hit start and just skip the animation. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't drain any time off the clock and it just goes straight to the end. Poor Zangief. All right, so it's the same two teams right now, correct? Yeah, it's Waseda style, winner of the first game versus oh, the second. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Is this the, f it's only one set though, right? Oh, that's a good question, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's one set. If it was two sets, yeah, it would be, it'd I would be, hope so. it'd be very long. Let me find so. out for sure. Hey, but, uh, Alex, is it one set? Okay. All right, so yep. we have the winner from the previous two matches. Obviously, the Akuma player and the Cody player. And yeah, by the way, it is one set. Okay. Just got confirmation. So we're going to have uh, Arcade Edition now. Marvel's going to be later on. Ultimate Marvel 3. All if right. we trust now with uh, 1v1, he managed to even it up. I'm oh, sorry, Top Ramen managed to even it up. Man, this whole name thing is such a stupid <laughs> problem. That's <laughs> all I know who the players are. Uh, he's got the hard knockdown, but off of the sweep, he didn't do anything, actually. A lot of uh, Kuma players, that's what they're looking for, is that sweep so they can start setting up Vortexes. I mean, he had it on Zangief, and he didn't get it now. He didn't get it on Cody. Uh, here we go. But he did it in a situation where Cody could have done a quick rise. Dash, right. dash in the setup. Oh, no, just regular dash. Yeah, right now, Ramen is just running right through fraud yeah that was that was pretty easy right there and he didn't even do it in the traditional kind of way i mean cody has different options than some characters do against vortex he, he, he can dash understar on wake up because his dash is so low so right. you kind of have to time things differently but you can still do it yep all right here we go this is fraud's opportunity here but he tried to bait something out i'm not sure what he was trying to bait out though well i don't know hard to know but he did the same kind of thing against the able player in the first game just kind of like didn't always press when he could have. Right, right. Here we go. Okay, there's some good pressure oh. right there. So no option select to try to chase that down. I mean, right now it seems to me that Ramen is is, is relying on teleport a lot. He's teleported almost most of the time that uh, Fraud is anywhere near him. And here we go. Here's his opportunity here. Man. Misses the jump attack though. He actually hasn't gotten that safe jump yet. All right, using a meter to try to get in. Interestingly enough, and. Ends his combo prematurely to go for a throw attempt. Yeah. 
Yeah, and Fraud We Trust is, is just kind of hanging out. It's a really weird style right now. Right. I mean, he's got the lead, and he also has Ultra 2. Oh, no. That's punishable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. He's got to watch out. I, I've got to imagine he's going to try to throw a fireball at some point in time. Yeah, there it was. Oh. Man, crouching medium punch? I don't know, but he's brought that out each time, and he takes the round. All right, well, now it's tied 1-1 here. This is the last round, final game. Yeah. Winner of this moves on, loser of this goes in the loser's bracket. All right, trying to zone him out a little bit with rocks here. Oh, nice, getting right through that stand roundhouse. Yeah, I actually really don't like that random bingo. It hasn't worked out for him. Um, I don't know that he's hit with it, frankly. Yeah. But, I mean, he hasn't gotten punished, so it hasn't been the worst of things. It's just not a great option for him. Hmm. Dropping combos again. Top bomb and finally going for medium pressure. No, it's just in the throw. He's been doing that a lot. He keeps going for throws when he gets in the corner. He's not ever trying to go for the combo. And here we are in a situation now where Fraud is a pretty decent lead here. All he has to do is hit him once, and here he goes. Mix up, but he goes to the throw again. Oh, dude, I feel like he wanted Demon right there. The jump fierce or whatever right. that was. But Strong. that was just a really strange ending because, you know, right after he finished blocking that EX Zonk Knuckle, he could have punished with all sorts of things, and he went for a throw, and I think in that situation, Cody probably could have teched it. It wasn't even a guaranteed kill, but it worked out for him in any way. Shout out to Aver Media. Aver Media, yep. Has some nice uh, capture equipment here. You can actually capture it without a PC. And of course, oh. All right. Cool. Yep. Once again, that's the uh, Game Capture HD, as you can see behind us right there. <laughs> Making Are you sure the people you, did outside. You, uh, did you enter? Uh, I entered Marvel with uh, Alex Vi, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, James. I, you, didn't get a, you didn't get a chance to enter, huh? Yeah, Sherry ruining the right, stream. Sher Thanks. Sherry Thanks. Is ruining now everybody the stream. knows. Yeah, exactly. All the professionalism that we just had going is totally wasted. I know. Wasted. Exactly. Exactly. God. God. You know how seriously I take this right now? <laughs> don't don't worry about it. This weekend is going to be bar fights. It's free admission. Check it out. It's in LA. The, those are the, the matchups. It's pretty cool. We already know the matchups in advance, so we can already kind of yep. like talk about them. Kind of bring it back to the the original bar fights from a long time ago, where we basically set up, you know, predetermined matches for you. You know, yeah. just basically put on a really nice show. That's right. So those those are the matchups. Mike Ross, Twisted Jago. So that's gonna uh, be FC uh, Jago rather. And Combo Fiend, Marn, Viscant, Flow, Fanatic, Clockwork, and Shigel BMX and Steinmania. Those are the winners of like the online challenge portion of it. So they'll, they made their way, they earned their way in. Yeah, that's gonna be, yeah, be a, a pretty unfortunate matchup for Shiggle BMX, I actually think. Shiggle BMX, obviously a Blanca user, and uh, Cami actually does very well against Blanca, in my opinion. I think that's a really hard fight. So that's a tough draw for Shiggle, uh, for Shiggle BMX there. A um, lot of the matches there are actually really interesting to me. I mean, it, I almost feel like it's very unfortunate that we ended up with a Mike Ross versus Jago matchup because Honda Bison can be a pretty... Um... Actually, I think that's, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of their, their like personalities and history and stuff, that's like the perfect one. Right, right. But here's the interesting thing is even as much as we say that, Mike Ross is not gonna turtle. He's gonna go in on Jago well, as I much mean, as he can. Like whatever the whatever the character matchup is, I think it's just super cool that Andre and Mike Ross are fighting each other. Yeah. Well, after like that video of the of the dancing stuff and that Jago put on Dude, finger cramps. Yeah, Jago like called him <laughs> out. Like, yeah, it's gonna be saying they're frauds and yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be interesting. So it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a really, I think that's a really cool matchup. Yeah, and of course we're talking about Andre Lambert, oh, Lambert. Is it Lambert or Lambert? Actually, I don't really know. I'm just gonna call him Andre Lambert because it oh, sounds yeah. like, you know. That's cool, man. But uh, you know, J T Twisted Jago, of course. Actually, now he's just Thank FC Jago. Yeah. Yep. So good stuff. Yeah, that'll be exciting. Of course, going up against this Mike Sunday. Ross. Yep. This Sunday, and uh, you and I will be there. We're gonna be talking. About it. 
That's right. That's right. We will be the voice, the lips. <laughs> There's going to be a Marvel action there as well, or is it just Street Fighter at this event? I, uh, I don't know. Mm, I'll have to. Oh, look who the man, uh, the man that just I was looking for. So tell me, Mr. Uh, Gutex, about bar fights this coming up. Is yeah. it going to be Street Fighter only, or is there going to be Marvel as well? It's going to be mostly Marvel, but Shigel BMX versus uh, Box Arena Stein Mania is going to be uh, Street Fighter. So in other words, Mike Ross and Jago is actually Marvel. Uh, yeah, Mike Ross and Jago is actually Marvel. Oh, yeah. man. We were just talking about Honda Bison all day, oh. and now it's not going to. Okay, okay. Sounds good. Sounds but, good. But again, I don't care at all about what the character matchups are going to be between those guys. I'm just happy that that's a matchup between <laughs> those guys. Yeah, right? right? That's something that I think that everybody wants to see. Yeah. Everybody's tired of, uh, you know, Jago popping off and, and Mike <laughs> popping off. Like, I think his pop-offs are hilarious. The well, pop-offs are pretty good. You know, maybe we should just push it back. <laughs> I'll just milk it for all it's worth. Yeah, I know. yeah but you know, it's. I mean, this is going to be an interesting event. Uh, Spooky's going to be coming out here west coast to stream this, right? That's right, yeah. Spooky's going straight from the uh, Sure You Can Show Match event to uh, bar fights. <laughs> That's really awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. Noel Brown's flying him on his private jet. So, uh, be here. Good stuff to Noel Brown. Yep. All right. So, oh, actually, uh, th this flyer actually, uh, this was before we had added Dios X versus uh, Noel Brown and also uh, uh, Filipino Champ versus Justin Wong. Uh, we added that yesterday as well. Dang. So, uh, lots of good matches coming down. So, hopefully, you guys can make it out or if not, watch the stream. All right, cool, sounds good. Sounds like it's going to be a really fun time, actually. So. All right, cool, dude. We'll see you Sunday. All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. So, Team Mari, dude, there's no way anybody knows what that means. It's Marn plus Ari. Would you have gotten that? I got it. Really? Are you ready? No way. <laughs> dude, um, look, at this, look at this name for uh, Shady K and friend. That's Sherry Jenix. <laughs> <laughs> she went along with that? That's, dude, I don't, I don't picture Sherry going along with that, but all right. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to go play my Marvel match, so I will be back. Oh, all right. Nice. Blown up. Yo, that is some fumbling. Those are fumble noises. Yeah, James Chen doesn't know how to pass off a mic. Uh, what's up, Sanchez? Not much. Side bit, first hit. Uh, oh, you like first hit? How much do you like on first hit? I, I like a dollar on Sherry. I like a dollar. Oh. I like a lot more dollars than that on Marn. I don't think there's enough dollars in the world for Marn. No, you cannot battle. So I think if uh, he wins, he should be able to. Marn, Marn claiming uh, other girls take precedence. All right. Okay. Marn right. admitting he doesn't like girls. Excellent. Yeah, Let basically. us move on. I think I'm gonna win this bet. Oh, uh, yeah, I was free. Yo, no, I like Sherry, dude. Oh, yo, get give out me that here. dollar. Get hey, out of here. Uh, we are eating at Denny's tonight. Dude, <laughs> you know what? Marn heard that. This is shenanigans. No, Sherry heard it, and Sherry wants to eat dinner with me. That's what's going on. Okay, We're getting those your... dollar menus. Oh, I'm going to have to PayPal you my dollar. Yeah, shout out to TeamLiquid.com. They do <laughs> great work. All right, well, now, oh, okay, he just goes for a straw, raw ultra. He could have brought it to the corner and finished with the ultra for a little bit less damage, but he's just trying to bring that. Well, he pretty much gets in. corner now, so I don't think he cares at this point. Uh, That's right. good mix up. I like it. Goes for something simple. Oh, Sherry giving him a Ooh, look. look at that. That's the, the no you can look. All right, yeah, who do you like on this round? Was thinking. I still like Sherry. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> well, as I was talking, she did it. So well, that was an interesting exchange. Wow, I really don't like that walk up here, Thunder Knuckle. Probably not what she meant to do. And Sherry now with a huge opportunity. The friend. See, Sherry should know better at that point. Respecting Marn's wake up, you know a DP is coming. Wake up. Oh, See? baby. She counter hit something. Oh, that's pretty sick. I don't really know why he did that because he didn't react, but whatever. It's part random, part reaction. Yeah, that's pretty much Marn. Oh, this time she catches on. 
but can't quite find us in time. I mean, frankly, that is pretty hard to punish. Oh, that's oh, big. Dude, no tech Here's roll. what you always do. Always, always tech roll. Yeah. There is no penalty in this game for tech rolling. Yeah, that's the thing. And when you have an opportunity to... to like, if there's an option that has no negatives and only positives... Do it. You'd be an idiot not to. She had ultra, she had three bars. That was a dead dudley. So she's really just trying to get something here. Ooh, under, right under. Under the fierce? That was some smart stuff. That was the, the electric prostate exam right there. <laughs> the testy tickler? <laughs> oh, oh, Sherry, no. no. A little itchy on the oh, confirm there. Oh, no, she's falling apart. She's pretty much stunned. Oh, wow, Marn. Oh, that's big, though. Going for maximum dickery. Dickery being the best term to describe him. I think that's pretty accurate. I'll call Webster's after this match. I think that's a word. Dickery? Why not? Yeah. She's putting up a fight right now. Marn only needs really a couple more hits. But anything major right now from Sherry is going to be it. She still chip. has full ultra chip. and one bar. Chip. She could turn this. Chip. Yes. Ooh. That was Chip. That's all he needed. Marn very happy about that. So he takes game one. Again, this is Waseda style, so the next two players are going to be coming on. All right, so Team Marn. Team Dude, Mari. Team Mari. This is, I'm not even going to call him that. Whatever. Stupidest name ever. So we were it talking to Flo me. earlier about changing his name. Yeah. So you know how there's Filipino champ, there's Americano champ. Right. He wanted to be Juiano champ. Oh, that's. But it doesn't doesn't really flow off the, the tongue, right? That's the stupidest thing ever. So yeah. I suggested Acidic Champ. Oh, I actually kind of That's a good like name, that. right? Yeah. Yeah. Acidic Champ is sick. That actually sounds kind of sick. Yeah. Anyway, Shady K. I haven't seen him play in person in a long time. He's one of the best Akuma players. Has been forever. I mean, even at, at Evo. Uh, Evo 2000. 10, I guess. Definitely. Yeah, oh, even in 09 when he was. Oh, maybe uh, it was 09 that I'm thinking of, but he got top eight. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, Shady K always puts up a good performance. Staggering his jabs a little bit to get some kind of uh, setup. So th there you see what we were talking about. He, he did do the quick rise mm -hmm. just in case. And he got a struggle drop, and it worked out for him. He's gonna have to have one more successful mix-up here. One more opening up. There it is. Stand jab. Boom. I think even at that point, just uh, low forward in the record would have probably chipped. Team Mari is on match point. Oh, I love that walk up. He's had really good frame trap setup so far. That's the first one that has worked out, but uh, good stuff. I also want to point out that this stage was really cool the first time. Can I point out that I've never seen this stage before in my life? There's hippos in the back, bro. I've never seen this. And a giraffe. I've you know gyrats, right? Those are those animals they have at Toys R Us. Nah, those are the little ones down at the bottom. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that, that, that little thing right there is a gyrat. I don't care about stages. Excellent. Oh, just uh, outside of range for that. For the crouching medium take punish. Does do the MVD support for the mix-up and a little bit more damage. Shady K getting away, but jumps right back in. Puts himself back in arm's way. And his chip damage, there it is. Shady K looks so spelt nowadays. Dude, this guy. You remember this dude like five years ago? You mean chunky, happy Shady K when he used to smile all the time? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, he's kind of chunky, but he was always happy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, now he's really spelt and like good looking, but he just seems really bitter. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, that's Rekka's drop there. That's interesting. Oh, no, I think it's gonna just that, yeah. I think he was good. Good stuff. Flo getting that max damage punish in the corner. Not for a ton on that, but again, he's in a situation. Oh, he's trying to set up a very difficult block move. Cross up setup, but not quite. Flo just gets out using that meter. Oh, oh, no, a big miss. And again, here you go. Make sure you use the quick rise. If ever there was a testament to quick rising, that was it. Boom. Quick rise. Two times. Always quick rise. Two times. Three times, actually, would have been super important, but the two times, it worked out. XBL. Why do they still have that up there? I do have, you know, a Twitter. Oh, that's right, actually. That's you, right. Okay, that's oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what's going to happen is one day I'm actually going to get back on Xbox Live, and it's going to crash because of the number of friend requests I'm going to get. What's your What's your uh, Twitland? It's uh, AlexSA2. 
Is that like, there's some underscore involved? No, why would I add an underscore? Yay, yay, now I can have one more follower. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm uh, gonna have one of those followers where they send me a link, and I'm so happy that I got it that I click on it, and then I suddenly want a free iPad, but then the window <laughs> won't close, and I'm there for the entire night. X X X X X. Yeah. Um, Ari wanted me to say that his Twitter is at Flojisan. Woo! That's all. That's all, man. Yeah. So follow Flo. Flojisan. Hasidic champ. Hasidic champ. That's a great name. A Hasid. Yeah. So earlier, let me run this name by you. Uh, earlier, Mike Ross gave me the suggestion of changing my name to Satan Chez. No. You don't like Satan Chez? No, I don't. What, what was that old one that you used to use? You had like some like ridiculous. Oh, Mex Luthor? Yeah, Mex Luthor was so good. You know, I actually. You gotta go back to that one. Mex Luthor is a good name, and I was so proud of myself when I came up with it. Yeah. Because I went into Google and I typed in Mex Luthor and nothing came up. That's how you know. That's how you know it's a good name. That's how you know. Yeah. I used to be able to do that. Now some dude has a Tumblr, an Ultra David Tumblr. Is it you? No, it's not me. Does he put up pictures of puppy dogs or something? What's he put up? No, it's fighting game stuff. Like oh, clearly okay. he knows who I am. But you're. But he like he bit the name. I found you should out. call him on it. There's got to be some sort of copyright thing there, isn't that there like is what you do? I probably do have enough, enough uh, market usage to. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean you've established yourself as the owner of Ultra David. Yeah. So don't you sue, like you know, take legal action against them? I don't want to be that kind of guy. You don't want to be that guy? But What uh, if he maybe. starts rolling in the cash from this Tumblr? Yeah, dude, if he starts making bank on this thing, yeah. and that's what happens with Tumblrs. Yeah, you, yeah. Know, you know Tumblrs. Yo. Those things are lucrative. He starts getting he's going to get in there. He's going to get a few good pictures on that Tumblr. He's going to be so breaded up. Ooh, You're going to regret man. not Check out this him. picture I got on my Tumblr. Ooh, thousands of dollars. Dude, it's going to be a picture of a dog with a phone held up to its head. <laughs> And he's gonna make so much bread off of that. That's con that's confusing to me. Like I gotta look at it more. Yeah. Why does the dog? You just keep clicking Why on it. Why is he on the phone? And this dog is just happy to be on the phone. <laughs> bark, bark, bark. <laughs> <laughs> he's having conversations. <laughs> that's how my dog talks. Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you have a very. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. I got that dog from the Elijah Wood TV show. Say. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, shout outs to Event Hubs, man. Your site for the latest Capcom fighting game news and accessible in-depth strategy, guys. www.eventhubs.com. You forgot the HTTP. It might be necessary, man. Maybe some people. Dude, they know. might be on AOL online. <laughs> you know, there's still some people on it. America online, online. Yeah, maybe there are people on that. I don't know. I've met people. I mean, everybody's probably too busy going to TeamLiquid.com. So. Oh yeah, shout out to TeamLiquid.com. Those guys shout do great work. Shout outs to. Uh, <laughs> Esports? Esports? I, I, amigo, ¿qué son estos esports? <laughs> Yo no sé. Yo, it's like regular sports, but they're electronic. <laughs> no me gusta. <laughs> Dude, I was, <laughs> I was just about to start doing my own Mexican accent, and then you started, and I was like, No, because I think you're going to do Mexican your horrible Mexican, wrong, Mexican yeah. accent. I just had to run with it. <laughs> yeah. Because that's, that's what we picture every time we hear esports. It's oh, just yeah. a really confused Mexican guy. Yeah, yeah. Just like esports, like, like he wants to play sports, but he's he doesn't quite get it. Like, he's like esports, esports. Yeah. I'd like to, but uh, what? I, don't know. I didn't bring my own stick <laughs> to the esports convention. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Some somebody on, on Twitter had the hashtag uh, eh sports, which I thought was sick. That's pretty I good. Think I'm gonna start using that. Um, so yeah, I mean, on a more serious note, there has been a lot of talk in the in the whole video game scene lately about fighting game community mm -hmm. versus esports. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we, you and I both went to NASL this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a very interesting experience, uh, educational for us, frankly, because we had never been to that kind of situation. Yeah, it, it was before. really different to see a competitive game and. The the difference in the crowd compared yeah, to the, huge the fighting game scene and what we're used to, where we're just kind of loud and obnoxious. Right. And, I mean, they're, they're, they're hype in their own way. Oh, yeah, for sure. But for the most part, they're, they're pretty low-key about I it. I mean, they're very emotionally invested in what's happening. Oh, yeah, definitely. They definitely. love the action, for sure. But the, the way that they've, that they've been you know, socialized to, to express that is, uh, is with relative, relative calm. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, as in, like, they'll, they'll, they'll cheer, but only at certain moments. 
Um, they'll, they'll clap a lot. They have thunder sticks that they use. They have signs that they call cheerfuls that they put up. So, I mean, they, they do things that's just not at all like what we expect. Oh, yeah. They, I mean, they like definitely they express use. themselves yeah. and the passion that they have for their games. is just in such a different way than what right. we've been going accustomed to. And, and, I mean, those weren't the only differences. Um, to be frank, there were gigantic demographic differences. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. There was I so mean, many girls. Okay. Yeah. In I mean, girls. In terms of gender, huge difference. Um, frankly, in terms of race, there was a huge difference. Yeah, that was true. Um, it was just a very different... Uh, very different crowd, and, and yeah, so it was really interesting to see, and it was cool. It was great for us to, to be able to talk with people who are, who are more dedicated StarCraft fans, uh, to get a better handle on where their scene comes from, where they want to go with it, where they'd like us to go with our own scene. It was really just a interesting weekend. Yeah, it was a great exchange to have with those people. Yeah, for sure. All right, cool, man. Well, we're gonna we're gonna bring James. Yeah, in here. Tech James. I'm gonna embarrass myself at Marvel Three. All right, dude. I hope you lose as fast as possible. I have no doubt. Complete faith in you. Hey, James. Hey, how's it going, David? All right, we have the most interesting men, which is Killer Kai. And I'm um, not sure who his partner is, but they're going up, you just don't know, which is Hung B and the glorious return of Mike Watson. Oh, actually, I don't think Hung B is playing. No, he is playing. I'm pretty sure. Or oh, he's gonna send Mike first, I think. Oh, I see. Yeah, well, there you I, go. I know Killer Kai's team uh, is with Richard. He's playing with uh, Richard Wen, aka Dick Wen. Yeah, but it looks like they want to send up Mike Watson first. Wow, I haven't seen Mike Watson play this game in like two years, maybe. I know, seriously. And Hung actually told me that Mike was the one who asked Hung. He's like, "Hey, you want to team up?" So I think Mike wants to get in there. Okay, wa yo, Watson, Watson, who are you gonna play? Who are you gonna use? Oh, he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. That's cool. Well, good luck. All right. I mean, to be honest with you, he should probably just go with Ryu, right? Well, when I've played him in this game, it's only been, he's only used Ryu and Guile, those two. He's used to Got before oh, in no, Vanilla. I've never seen him. Because oh, really? I remember that's who he used against, uh, wasn't that who he used against Gutex at Devastation that first year? Don't to fight know. Balrog at the, it was Sagat, right? Yeah, 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 he was using Sagat. So I've seen him use Sagat before, so it'll be interesting to see where he goes. There's Mike Watson. If you don't know this man, uh, man, you really should. Yeah. He's, he's not He's not just the manager of Super Arcade nowadays, which is the arcade we're at. Uh, he is also, he was for years uh, one of the very best Street Fighter players in America. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, during the hyper fight. completely dominant. For Street Fighter 2 to Hyper Fighting, all the way through like Alpha 2, maybe yeah. Mike Watson was always one of the premier plays. Even all the way through Third Strike, actually, he was really That's good at true, Third Strike yeah. for a really long yeah, time start, too. Yeah. And it looks like he is gonna go with Ryu. No, he's going. I think this is just a button check. Uh, well, I know Killer Kai's going with Ryu. That's his character. Right. I'm, I don't know. Let's see. Kind of interesting to see whether this is for real. It looks like it is. Okay. Wow, Mike Watson going with Footsie Balrog here. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna see. I think he, I think we're gonna see him just play footsie. Well, that's what I was hoping for anyway. But right. oh, look at him playing ST right now, doing the <laughs> doing the headbutt through fireballs. <laughs> but see, this is the problem, though. I mean, I just he's gonna play a very footsie based ball rocket, but I just don't know if he's gonna know all like the little subtle nuances of the match, like uh, Killer Kai's gonna know. Here we go. Well, it's working out okay for Mike Watson so far. Ooh, he's oh, he's dropped. Oh, no. He did that chain a little too fast. Yeah. All right. Last hit takes it. Well, the start of that round was pretty bad for Mike. He ran into a lot of things that he probably shouldn't have. After then, he kind of settled down a little bit. So let's see whether he can go back to what was working for him in the second half until he got hit by that uh, Dragon Punch FADC. All right. So like, it's, like we said earlier, he's going to rely largely on some very basic play here. I mean, that's the thing about Mike Watson. Even back in ST when he was one of the best players in Hyper Fighter, he never did anything excessively fancy. He would beat you with fundamentals, and that's exactly what he's doing right now. Yeah, he's picked a pretty good spot on screen. He's just bringing him out, bringing out the stash punches. Ooh, he was just looking for that. And I'm really surprised that Killer Kai fell for that. Maybe he just didn't believe that Mike Watson had that kind of technology. <laughs> it's true. Maybe he was like, hey, Actually, wait a I think that's right. Yeah, I'm looking at his face right now. Uh -huh. At Killer Kai's face, he's like, oh, man. Like, no <laughs> he's way. He's like, wait a minute. He's old now. He shouldn't have these kind of reactions, you know? But it's there. sure enough, there it is. 
Killer Kai trying to put up more of a fight here in the mid range. He was backed up in the last match, in the last round. Okay. Oh, what the? I don't um, think that was intentional at all, yeah. but you know what? He'll take it because he wasn't even ready to try comboing it into a low short into uppercut or uh, into headbutt or anything. Right. Ooh. Yeah. Mike has found a rhythm for himself right now. It's really working. Oh, that could have been you. Oh, yeah. He had that perfectly scoped out and just mistimed that combo there. That's punishable. Oh, wow. Killer Kai not going to do anything to that. What does Ryo get on there? Stand jab, maybe? Uh, I think his fierce uppercut might be able to reach far enough. Because those uppercuts actually have pretty decent range. Oh, and super. Oh. He can chip him out right now. Yeah, he's just going to do it. And look at that. Mike Watson with his old school tactics. Of course, Eliver has told me recently he hasn't been playing this game in forever. He's been concentrating so much in uh, in uh, Marvel. So Absolutely true. Nevertheless, Killer Kai getting up with the classic, oh yeah, I'm smiling, but I'm inside. Super salty. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Look at this guy over there. Yeah. Laughing around. Yeah. As he, if he, he wasn't pissed. Yeah, he no, actually he does sound pissed right now, yeah. actually. He's yelling and he's <laughs> pointing, so yeah. He's a little upset. He's there's some salt. There's the salt factor there, so. Nice job though by Mike Watson. Yeah. And up next for uh, you just don't know. Oh, you just don't know has got to be uh, Hung B team, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Of course. I didn't team even look Co at the name. Team Cobra Kai, right? So. <laughs> do you remember the story about the you just don't know? Yes, I do actually. The story about you just don't know was um. Hilarious. At the beginning of Street Fighter IV's career. Uh, Gutex was one of the top players in Street Fighter 4. He went over to Mike Watson's uh, place to, when a whole bunch of people were living there to play a bunch of them. And he started beating a bunch of them. And, uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. and Gutex, Gutex started, be, started yeah, yeah. beating a bunch of them. And uh, basically, he looked at like Mike Watson and the rest of the guys there and was just like, you just don't know. Almost kind of like implying like, you guys don't know how to play this game. because. Right. Gutex is like, I've been playing for this long, That's like right. with this big with his hands, up, yeah. hands wide, and then you've only been playing for this long with the little thin hands, and Mike Watson took that to heart, needless to say. And that's actually what kind of spurred on Mike Watson's entire Street Fighter IV career. And then if I recall correctly, Mike Watson blew him up in the next couple of games. Yeah, and then he beat him up, and then he even defeated him at Devastation. Ah, yeah. Yeah, with Sagat versus with Balrog, so. Yeah, so you just don't know it became a pretty big meme in the community for a while. So right, it was right. Pretty hilarious. Yeah. But, I mean, to their credit, they've obviously mended, patched up all yeah. those differences. and That's all fun. Yeah, exactly. But so, uh, the most interesting man in the world, this is going to be Richard Wen. And I'm sorry, I remember him telling me that he switched over to Adon. He's no longer playing Puma. He switched to uh, Seth for a while. And, and he's uh, playing Adon right now. And it's not working out for him. He might be just concentrating on Marvel as well. That little wry smile on his face. It's Hung B, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, I guess we forgot to mention that, but it's definitely Hung B playing right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Hung B is <laughs> the premier uh, T-Hawk, -Hawk, yeah. yeah. Absolutely the hawk Oh, nice, with that uh, fuzzy guard overhead there. And Hung B has an extremely patient style. You're not going to see him rush in very often at all. Uh, he only feels the need to jump um, if he feels like he's being really outclassed in footies, and that's not often for him. Right. But again, he, he, he knows his character, he knows how much life his character has, yep. and he's okay with occasionally getting hit. Not yeah. a big deal for him, but... Oh, he should have... Okay, here's a huge opportunity, because he's got that Ultra 2 mix-up, but just a jump jab there from uh, Richard is going to take that second round. So now, now they are tied 1-1 here on this round. And of course, we are playing the uh, A fights A, B fights B, and then if the two opposite members win, the two winners face off against each other. And... I mean, may maybe we'll see that, but right now, match point for you just don't know. Right. <laughs> I think Mr. Wizard brought up an interesting point. He's well, He wants to run a tournament this style, but the losers have to face off against each other so oh, that no man. one can carry the team, which I think would be actually really fun. That would be pretty cool. Nice blocking here by Richard. He's really done great this whole round. Oh, follows up. Oh, nice chase down there. Dash to catch the back jump. And unfortunately for Hung now, he has no more Ultra to do some big damage. He only needs to make two more things happen. Oh! Ooh. Unfortunate there that Richard got away. But here he comes. Oh, he uh, went for it. Not and that was it. an option select, too. We'll talk about that in a sec. Adon looking for the final blow. He really just needs to stand around us and 
and uh, looks like Hung B's having a tough time getting around it. He wants to be slow, but... Right. Which means if Hung, if Richard takes this right now, it will be Richard versus Mike Watson coming up next. Right. Okay, so it's going to be... The, the option select that Hung B went for was uh, meaty, crouching, medium kick, option select, EX, uh, Condor Spire. Oh, so okay, if the opponent okay. backdashes, uh, It'll the, catch the, the, the back medium yeah, kick yeah. will whiff, and so you'll come out with the EX Spire instead. And you'll hit the opponent out. Right, but he came out with SPD instead. No, he no he he can he convinced uh, Richard to stay put. Oh, and so the crash medium gotcha, was blocked, gotcha. which, which meant that the EX fire didn't come out. The EX PD, XPD after EX SPD after was just next. So up. Richard basically blocked the forward and then backdashed instead of just backdashing right away. Right, right. Very smart stuff. All right, so Richard here we Wynn. go. Mike Watson versus Richard Wynn. Adon versus Balrog. <laughs> If you told me that Mike Watson and Richard Wynn were going to play each other and we were going to see an Adon versus Balrog match, yeah. I would have said you were crazy. Richard's usual MO is to go for the, the frankly, the, the cheapest character. Right. I don't really think he's doing that right now, which is why this kind of surprises me. Yeah, and this is going to be really interesting because, you know, Balrog has really good fundamentals and really good footsies, but Adon is a really awkward character with the Jaguar kicks going over a lot of pokes, and then of course Adon standing roundhouse being such a good footsie tool in, in Adon's favor. So I'm, I'm curious to see if Mike Watson's gonna be able to handle this fight from a pure fundamental standpoint. Well, I don't even know whether that's gonna come up, because yeah, I was gonna say, I think I think we're just gonna see like mix-ups that Mike not, might not really know about. Right. Because a lot of those, they're gonna be cross-ups if you don't know Adon's jump timing right. for sure. And yeah, I'm he's perfect. got he's got one of the the, the, the weirdest ambiguous cross up situations. Right. No perfect for Richard here, and Mike Watson getting in there. Once he gets the momentum going, oh, once again a little bit too fast on chaining those light attacks. He needs to link the last two to be able to cancel in the headbutt. And that's punishable, but again, no one punishing it. Mike is just blowing him. I mean, he's just kind of motoring through. He's steamrolling him with the same thing across the whole stage. Jab, dash, punch, crouching jab, crouching medium punch. It's and now really look it. at and look at Mike. He's like, you know what? I don't have to attack anymore. I'm just going to kick Ooh, it back here. Mike Watson? Mike Watson. Sitting on the ground. And he's playing on the floor old Ooh, school style. Old man. That's the way we do it. Old man. Yeah, just that's right. don't know. Yeah, Mike is blowing him. That's right. Oh, okay. He went for the, he actually got the link that time. Yep. Using the old school ST technology of crouching jab, crouching jab, standing, standing jab, jab. <laughs> which worked in that game. You could chain those, but that actually doesn't work in this yeah, game. He just got the right timing. See, that's punishable right there. I think that's like minus seven or something like that on block. Minus six, I think it is. All right. Okay. Richard got a chance here, and he can go back to the mix-ups that basically won him the first round right now. Oh, okay, good stuff by Mike Watson. He's blocking there, but he's got a bit of work to do, and Richard just showing block right now. Oh, no, and that should be it. Oh, no, not quite, but anything to chip him out. There oh, is. and Richard Wynn gets it in the end, taking out Mr. <laughs> Mike Watson. Yeah, Mike Watson was blowing him, but in the end, <laughs> Richard got him in the end. <laughs> I have no comments about that. <laughs> but uh, definitely uh, shout outs to, of course, uh, Broken Tier. Brokentier.com. Always picking up, uh, oh, can always pick up some of the best shirts out there, including the uh, Yipes line. And now uh, Clockwork has a line too, where he has the, the Strider symbol on his on, on the shirt now. So Yeah, Paul Paul Cougar at Broken Tier has been coming out with a lot of good stuff lately. He's yeah. He's uh, really making a, a, a cool line over there. So definitely go check it out, brokentier.com. Yeah, and actually, uh, I got to go play my ST match. But before I go, oh, cool I want to mention that um, obviously with a lot of this esports and fighting game right. stuff that's been going on, uh, I actually did an interview with Original Gamer, uh, OriginalGamer.com uh, on Monday. And he said he just got that podcast up. Oh, and, cool. I, and I actually talk about that extensively on there. So if you want to okay. see that, just uh, hit up my Twitter, at Jay Chenzor. And you can find a link to it. I just retweeted it just now. So you can check out 